Tech fans, what's up? It's that time. Yep, that time. Time for more tech. Now, what's on the table? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a mechanical keyboard from the people at Moto Speed. And today's video is actually brought to you guys by Busy Future. They're selling this particular product at the moment. Now, this is called the Moto Speed CK80. Now, this is a full mechanical keyboard, 104 keys, full on RGB. Um, it's a really nice keyboard coming to market at about $71. You may be able to find it on sale. And luckily at the end of this video, I'll have a coupon code down below where you guys can save even more money. So you guys are going, okay, Elric, who is Moto Speed? What is the CK80? What are you talking about? Okay, like I said, it's a mechanical keyboard. 104 keys, the look of it is actually really nice. It features two different tones. You have a silver and a black tone. The RGB lights, they permeate all around the edges of the keyboard. They're also underneath all of the keys. So this is actually pretty cool. It also has full N key rollover and 50 million clicks. Now, I don't know about you, but I type about you know 30 words per minute. So that's gonna like last me for what? Three lives and 50 deaths if I just keep going. So pretty much um, durability <laughs> the keyboard's going to last you a long time. Now, it is made of plastic, but the plastic isn't a cheap plastic whatsoever. The plastic's actually pretty durable. It's a really nice, solid plastic. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the keyboard, you're going to see that there's a couple of little things you click out. If you like your keyboard to sit flat, you don't have to use it. Me personally, I like my keyboard to be more at an angle, so I'm going to be using these two little feet whenever I use the keyboard. Now, flipping it back onto its top side, you guys can see that in the far left upper corner, there's this little wheel. Now, this little wheel actually functions for two different things. The wheel can be used to either raise and lower the light which means you know dim or make it brighter and you can also click it again and this will be the volume control as well so you control both the volume and you control your rgb brightness and everything all from this particular switch now all of the keys and the layout on this keyboard are pretty much the same as any keyboard you've seen out there. I mean, really, and I mean, <laughs> it's no really reinventing the wheel when you're making a keyboard for the Windows environment. It also has a 10 key numpad, so if you're a fan of that as well, it has that. Now, it's kind of interesting. If you take a look at the Busy Future website, you're going to see that this particular product actually has three different types of switches that are available. It has the silver opium switches, it has the gold opium switches, and then it has what's called a Zeus. And this Zeus switch is supposed to be water resistant as well. Now, I don't know particularly what keys are in this, I can't claim for a fact, but from looking at it when I remove the keys, you guys can see that these keys look really a lot like the cherry box switches. Now it's also silver in color, and that kind of lends credence that these are actually silver switches. I mean, let's just face it, all the other keys out there, whether it's red, blue, green, whatever, you know, I don't think there's any really green ones too much, but you know what I'm saying, the color pretty much coordinates and matches which the key that you have. and these look like they're either from Cherry or they're definitely a derivative of Cherry. And they might be actually something that Moto Speed actually makes in-house because I could really not find any information about these at all. Um, I don't think they're Okumu. I don't think they're any of the others that we've seen in the past. I honestly think that these particular switches are made by this company for themselves. Um, if we have more information or if you have any more information, definitely leave that information for me down below because I want to learn. But like I said, they are definitely silver. They look, you know, like switches you've seen out there. And they are very, very clickety. So if you love that clickety, clickety, clickety type thing, you'll probably like these. Now, what I have heard though, is that silver switches are like blue switches. Gold switches are like brown switches. And I guess Zeus switches means that they can rain lightning down like his son Thor. I'm just <laughs> speculating here, but you know what I'm saying. Now, as far as the keycaps, I'm not sure exactly if they have a profile or what profile they are. I couldn't find information about that. They are made of plastic. They're also two-tone. 90% of it is black. The other part of it is clear. This is so that RGB lighting can actually come through the keyboard. 
Now, any software or anything to run this particular keyboard is only going to be available in the Windows 10 environment. So if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, it's not going to work. And if you're using it on a Mac, well, you'll get it, but you're not going to be able to control it. You know what I mean? The RGB is obviously going to work as soon as you plug it in, but you're not going to be able to control any of those things beyond that if you're using it outside of the Windows 10 environment. Now, the CK80 also has a pretty ergonomic design. Even when I'm typing or playing games for a long amount of time, I don't feel my wrist actually getting uncomfortable. Most of the time, I like to actually use a separate wrist pad just for the nice comfort of it. But with this particular keyboard, even without it, I didn't find my wrist actually getting too stressed out even after hours of use. At the end of the day, this keyboard definitely works. I mean, it's a mechanical keyboard. If you've ever used a mechanical keyboard out there, they definitely have their own type of feel. Me personally, some of the membrane keyboards from back in the day, I thought were just really unbelievable. There were very few that I found that I liked, but the few that I did really like, I really enjoy them for typing and doing stuff. But mechanical keyboards, like I said, have their own feel. This keyboard feels well made. It doesn't feel any cheaper made than by a keyboard, say by big name company that cost 160 bucks you got you know what i'm saying you know razor i'm um, excuse me did i say that out loud um you know what i'm saying some of these companies charge just a lot of money for the name i don't know if you guys can see it, but mr buddy the dog i don't know for some reason he wants in the video now even though he never uses the keyboard i mean what's your opinion of the keyboard bud he's like i have no idea what you're talking about but at the end of the day the keyboard's 70 dollars. it's simple plug and play it's got rgb like I said, 50 million keystrokes before the keys are supposed to go bad unless you just get bad luck. That's going to last you forever, let's just face it. Full end key rollover, which means that if when you're inside of a game, you're playing and you hit a bunch of keys at once because you're just crazy trying to do something and you accidentally hit a bunch of keys you weren't supposed to, it's not going to freeze up, not cause you any problems whatsoever. It's $71. We will have a link down below. I had absolutely no problem playing games in this keyboard. Like I said, honestly, the best compliment that I can give this keyboard is it's really not that much different than any of the high-end other mechanical keyboards that I've ever seen here at Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys have ever actually seen and bought any of the off-brands, let's just face it, all the stuff is OEM'd from China anyways, which means there's only a certain amount of these products that are being made, and all the OEM products, especially the good ones, are going to be made of the same quality manufacturing stuff as this particular keyboard. And one thing that Moto Speed is really trying to push is that all of their gaming products were actually made with the gamer in mind. It's like be born to game, you know? <laughs> they have like their own slogan, like, you know, be born to game, you know? So they're really into the gaming side of things. So hopefully they're working with a team of gamers somewhere or just looking at feedback. I mean, let's just face it, all I gotta do is go out and pay attention to forums and see what people are complaining about and what they want in a keyboard. And you can go to the drawing board and make one yourself. I mean, if you've got the manufacturing capabilities and you got the companies to do it with, you can do it as well. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Um, like I said, we'll have links down below. If you guys want to check out more reviews and stuff like that around the net, go check them out. But I think at the end of the day, for 71 bucks, I think it's right in the pocket for being a good price and a good quality product for what it is. So peace out.